What's up everyone, Jeremy Guzman here with another Ample Force tutorial. Now today we'll be focusing on using Dharma Wallet and exchanging our ETH or DAI for Ample for little to no trading fees. Now Dharma is doing a promotion right now where they're covering all gas fees, whether it's from swapping or to sending, everything is covered for a limited time only. So if you don't have a Dharma Smart Wallet, go right ahead and make one. It literally takes one to two minutes and you'll be on the road accumulating interest with your DAI or you can easily swap your ETH or DAI or any ERC20 tokens that I matter for little to no gas fees. So our goal with this demonstration is to get you familiar with depositing your tokens into Dharma to then swap them for Ample and then eventually depositing them into the geyser through Zapper. So with that being said, let's get to it. So first you're gonna wanna open the Dharma wallet and then you'll be presented with their landing page in which you'll show how much interest you'll earn through uh, compound finance because that's the, the the in the back end that's what's accumulating the interest for you is uh, compound and how many dollars you have deposited into your account so obviously right now i have no dollars i'm going to walk you step by step on how you could deposit it how you could earn interest through die and how we could swap your die for ample and then moving forward so first we're going to click deposit and then you're offered two options you can use your debit card or apple pay if you have a, if you're using an iphone or you could submit your uh, public key into a third party address into a third party wallet to then send some tokens over and we could swap them there. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And now the question to ask is, is the Dharma wallet compatible or is this public key compatible with ERC20 tokens? And that's a valid question. And as you can see here in the crypto section, it says, this is your Dharma smart wallet address. To deposit crypto, send ETH or any ERC20 token to this address. So Right off the bat, they say, yes, this wallet is ERC20 compatible. So that's awesome. So let's go right ahead and tap share, copy, and I'm gonna go deposit some die into my wallet. Be right back. All right, welcome back guys. So as you can see, I have deposited my die into my Dharma and I'm currently generating some interest as we sit here. So again, the goal of this demo is to swap this die for ETH and for some ample. So as you can see in the far left hand corner, uh, bottom left hand corner of the screen, we have a swapping uh, emblem. So we're just gonna tap on that. And the neat thing about Dharma is that it's built uh, on the back end, the swapping mechanism is actually built in using Uniswap. So we're using a decentralized exchange for a seamless low fee sw uh, transaction, swapping transaction. So that's a really cool part. So automatically you're going to see that we could swap our ETH to a certain ERC20 token, whichever we decide. So if I wanted to swap for Ample, all I have to do is type Ample and it'll populate that in the Dharma Verified section. But since I don't have any ETH just yet, I'm going to tap where it says on the bottom right hand corner, flip. I'm gonna click on the select a token drop down menu and type in die. And as you can see, die will automatically populate in the Dharma Verified section. So I'll tap on that and you'll see on the top uh, center on the top, top center portion of the screen how much die I have available to trade. So I'll like to trade 50 die for ETH and then I'll automatically populate the proportionate uh, value of, of ETH for this swap. So once that's done, I'll go right ahead and click preview swap. And Dharma does a really good job at showing the receipt on how much the current die price is in exchange for the ETH price, the conversion rate of ETH, uh, ETH to die, and then how much is the estimated total. Now, again, I want to uh, emphasize that there is no gas or trading fees right now, and it's only for a limited time only. So if you're, if this is really piquing your interest, I highly recommend taking advantage of it now before it's gone. So once we're done reviewing this receipt, we're gonna click confirm. I have now swapped my die for ETH. So I can go right ahead and tap on view ETH you see that there is a little bit of slippage uh, from the exchange. Uh, you saw that I started with $50 and now I'm left with 48.76. So there might be a little bit of slippage within the exchange, but it's not too bad at the end of the day. So this is really cool. It has a, a chart you can kind of play with and track the price of ETH. So now that we've successfully swapped our ETH, I mean our die to ETH, we're going to swap our die to ETH to then swap our ETH into Ample. Just like in Uniswap, everything has to go 
um, from a certain ERC20 token back to ETH to then swap it to another one uh, that you des uh, to another desired ERC20 token is the same uh, process we have to do here. So I'm going to swap the remaining uh, DAI into ETH, preview swap, same receipt menu. I'm going to confirm. And then you can see on the center portion of the screen how much ETH I have. I'm going to go back to the exchange and type in 0.13, which is about $47 or $50 if it appreciates over time for some ample. So I already preset it to swap to ample, but if you want, all you have to do is just type in ample in the search box and tap on ample fourth. Go right ahead and click preview swap. It'll give you the ETH price to the ample price and then the conversion rate. I'm gonna go right ahead and click confirm. I'll tap on view ample. And then just like that, I have $46.49 worth of ample. If I backtrack, we'll see that representation here in my wallet, in my crypto wallet. So now that we've swapped our DAI into ETH as well as uh, into ample, now it's time for us to send both our ETH and ample to our MetaMask so we can start participating in the geyser through Zapper. See you in a minute. All right, welcome back everyone. So I have successfully sent both my ETH and my Ample to my MetaMask wallet and I'm currently on Zapper.Fi in which I will start participating in the ETH Ample Uniswap pool and then I will transfer my Uniswap tokens over to the geyser and start staking. So once you're on Zapper.Fi, let's go right ahead and look for the ETH Ample Uniswap V2 pool in which is ranked number four on the Zapper uh, ranking list so we're going to go right ahead and click add liquidity and then you're going to be presented with a small window now the cool thing is let's say you don't want to supply uh, your ETH you could choose another asset and you could supply your ample which is really cool so in this case I will use ample and I will supply the max amount of ample that I have so then you will you'll see a approximate pool output generate here and what's neat is the price impact uh, measurement so once that's done you choose the gas fee that you feel more comfortable in uh, in paying and in this demonstration I'm going to go right ahead and click on the fast option it's already uh, default uh, selected for me so I'm going to click confirm I would allow Zapify to spend my ample in this transaction for $1.47, so click confirm. Go ahead and pay this incredibly expensive uh, gas fee. So click confirm and our transaction has started and just like that, our transaction has succeeded. So I'm going to refresh the page and as you can see, I already have an unstaked supply that I have here and it's added to my supply. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna take the, these tokens and we're gonna go over to the geyser and deposit them to start earning a little bit extra ample through the geyser distribution program. All right, so now we're here on the geyser dashboard in which we could deposit, withdraw, and check out some stats uh, referring to uh, the geyser's performance. So our goal here is to deposit our newly acquired Uniswap uh, ETH ample tokens into the geyser. So let's go right ahead and click max. And then at the bottom, you'll see an estimate rewards uh, generation populate in which in this particular demonstration, I'll be earning 67.95 ample a month at the current APY. So I will click deposit, pay the gas fee. And just like that, I have deposited my Uniswap tokens into the geyser and added to my previous position. So as you can see, I came back to Zapify just to make sure that uh, the new Uniswap tokens were added to my already staked position. So the reason why I did that is since I added liquidity um, separately from my from my previous position, it acts as, as if there's two different pool tokens that I'm holding, right? So there's two ways in which I could have staked. I could have unstaked my previous uh, position in which I would withdraw all my accrued rewards or I could go into the geyser and just deposit my newly acquired tokens into 
my my older holding my older position so that's exactly what i did instead of just unstaking and then restaking i went to the geyser and i deposited into my previous holdings so i added the point uh zero 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 one to my uh to my previous holdings so that's kind of a neat trick to avoid any any more gas fees you just keep adding and kind of compounding onto your previous position and then you'll have a higher stake or higher trading fee a percentage in that pool so with that being said guys i hope this demonstration really helped you out um, if you have any questions please drop it below in the comment section see you next time